Hey guys, ZKO Knives. Today I want to do a knife review on a Balasong that I got from Atropros again. This one is the Curate Custom. All right, it's also, I would say, based off of the Curate Original. So I got a little felt bag. I'm pretty sure if you've seen my Atropros videos before, you know that's the same thing I got. I come with all my knives, but this is the beaut here. And I apologize, I took the uh, the lock bar off. So I'm gonna get a little hinge. So here it came with this. Then the latch. So I took that off because I was using it for flipping. But she's a big one. So this is the Cure at Custom. I hope you can see that well. It's titanium green. Mm, there we go. Come on. It's really super reflective. It's in six ninety. Now, this is like the original Atropos knives by size. Let me take a close look at the blade. Got good manufacturing there. Logo. N690. You can see the two directions of grain on the blade. Very beautiful knife. It's about, I'd say, 10 and a half inches. So I will compare it to my Atropos Demon that I showed before. I finally finished this guy up. I darkened the blade on it. So see, they're about the same size. So these were the original size of Atropos. Then Atropos came out and made the Kirit 2, which is more close to the length of the slightly under 10 inches mark, if you see. And that's a curette too. So beautiful knives compared. And then here's a crack and clone next to that too as well. So you compare. So you see this is similar to this in size. So Atropos originally made this. And I think people complain because it was too big and heavy. Which it kind of is. And uh. He made it smaller, but I feel like both of these are pretty good on flipping. It's just pretty much based on the weight ratio and getting used to anything, right? Big sword, little sword. So I do want to point out some differences if you go to buy the custom compared to a Kiret 2. And I'll do a little review on this thing. So if you notice... This is just like bead blasted and it's been flattened out a little bit more. I got no latch with this one. Right. A little bit smaller blade, a little lighter weight ratio. Exact same design. Well, almost. And that's the difference I'm going to point out. So, first one. When you look at the back of this one, it's flattened. This one, not so much. It's round. So, if you notice, one's flat and one's round. One's been tapered a little bit more at the tops. This has been tapered down thinner. This one's straight all the way through. See, uh, so this one has a very light sanding and flattening, and this one's more of a deep aggressive one because you can see down by in the handles. So take note, this one has drill marks all through it too on top of the anodization. So it's very, very pretty. This one's very, very, you know, 
utilitarian and good and fun. Now on the inside, you look that it's been chamfered down a lot, beveled down a lot compared to this one. So this one is a little sharp and this one's not so, but you see now why it's skinny out because it's flattened on this side and on the inside. So this is a lot better handling and lighter and quicker. It kind of reminds me of a BM42. And this one's like just badass ninja style, but bling bling. So let me do a weight on it. Five point one two compared to the smaller one. Five point zero. Now I want to show you how heavy this sucker is. Five point five nine. All right. So what else? And I'll just do diameter or thickness of the blade, sorry. About point thirteen when handle. Full rate, it's around a half inch. Right there, full rate. Should be, because it's pretty, pretty dang round. It's pretty dang round. All right, so there you go. Here at Custom, at Atropos, I really, really like this knife. It's a really, really good buy if you want to get something big. All right, this is ZKO Knives. Please subscribe, share, like, and uh, leave a comment below if you like the video. Also, I'd like to mention that I do a lot of custom knife work. So if you're into ballast songs, Come watch some of my custom knife videos because soon I will be doing custom scales on these ballast songs. And I got some pretty cool material. Something like snakeskin. Okay, anyway, you guys have a great day.